Hey Steam Deck gang, it's Liam here. Another absolutely huge Steam Deck update just dropped. The major new headline feature here is the addition of per game performance profiles. So now every time you load up a game in the performance menu, you can hit a little toggle to switch it over to a special profile. This is where you can set specific things like refresh rate, FPS limit and more. And you have this for every single game. When you hit that toggle, a new profile is created for each game. To me, this shows how amazing and committed Valve really are to giving us all the best experience possible for every individual game. So now when you load up various games, you won't need to go into the performance menu and constantly chop and change all the settings. You can just do it once and have it saved for each of them. Absolutely fantastic. We're also going to start seeing how well the Steam Deck is doing as Valve have now hooked up the Steam hardware survey that they do every month properly on the Steam Deck. So starting next month, we should see some numbers on there. As we get closer to the official dock landing, Valve are also working on external monitor connections. With this update, the Steam Deck interface now get scaled properly to a virtual 1280 by 800 resolution, and they did say a lot more work on that is underway. Offline mode even saw some performance improvements too. There's some keyboard improvements, and they've moved the location of controller reordering to be in the other section of the quick access menu, while they've also removed the rumble and haptics toggles from the quick access menu but they're now in the main controller settings page. All that and more in the official notes, which are linked in the description. Let me know what you think to this latest Steam Deck update in the comments, and be sure to like, subscribe, and throw all your coins at me. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video.